Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. In the overnight session, we saw the market balance in the lower part of yesterday's range, leaving the sell side in control on the smaller time frames. Bigger picture, the market has been balancing within a very defined range with the recent low at 2035. So heading into the open, if the market breaks down below the 36 half to 38 half pre-market support and below 35, that would signal sellers in firm control and from that point on we will have to be more cautious on the long side because we could quite easily extend just the overnight balance into the 25 to 27 support zone we do have support at 30 half to 33 but uh, like I said if the market is breaking down on high momentum and high volume then we have to be cautious on taking any long setups and even though responsive buyers can be active at 30 half to 33 the zone still calls for caution if uh, the market is in short-term liquidation mode or just balance breakdown. So 2527 is really the first area of support where in the event of a breakdown we can get a reaction, a response, but uh, if we are breaking down on heavy volume and momentum, broad market weakness, and it looks to be shaping up into a trending type move, uh, then you just want to be careful on taking any long setups, um, you know, even at 25 to 27. Um, and um, it's just something we're going to have to assess on the day time frame to determine whether it's a legitimate breakdown at that point or if the market is not really showing a whole lot of weakness and perhaps, you know, we're just going to balance at lower prices. But you want to let that initial sell off get exhausted before you really jump in. And ideally, you want to be on board for the sell-off on the short side by then, um, you know, either shorting a minor retracement or uh, shorting the breakdown itself if it's taking place below the 36 half and the 35 area. On the upside, we have resistance at 44.75 to 46.75. The sell side can maintain short-term control below that area. In the event of a breakout, it would tell us that perhaps the market is not as bearish as it looked on the smaller time frames. From there, we can go up and test 50.75 to 52.75, which is still a valid area of resistance and uh, can technically still attract sellers. Above that, we have resistance at 54.75 to 55 quarter. And then finally, uh, 59 half to 61 half, which is very close to yesterday's high. It's also the area that really kicked off the big directional move yesterday to the downside. So very likely that we'll see sell side activity over there and then we have stronger resistance and a range extreme at 68 half to 71. So you know those are the resistance areas that the market can deal with in the event of a breakout above 44.75 to 46.75 uh, but uh, our short-term bias heading into the open is leaning more bearish. Uh, we'll just have to watch and see kind of how the market responds to 35 and this uh, 36 half to 38 half uh, pre-market support. You now if we're getting a rejection there then perhaps try to find better trade location on the short side. At the same time keep in mind that in order to break down we are going to have to see broad market weakness so that means a negative AD line which is trending lower. We're going to have to see uh, sustained downside momentum as well to really hold the ES below 35 and 36 half. So uh, you know absent broad market weakness and downside momentum, responsive buyers can step in and we can continue to balance above 35. But uh, the way the market is shaping up right now, it is gearing up for a directional move. Either we're going to break 35 and get some sustained movement below it, or we'll see a rejection and then perhaps we can go back up into 50.75 to 52.75. But right now we are going to be cautious on long setups and um, be more active on the short side as long as those other signs are present in real time. On the econ front, we have the oil number at uh, 9.30 a.m. Central Time and then FOMC minutes at 1 p.m. Central Time. So just keep those uh, two uh, reports in mind. Aside from that, let's just see how the market responds at 35, 36.50. That's really uh, the area that needs to break in order to confirm sell side in firm control. And we'll take it from there.